Hey friends, I am Cody from Mr. 4 AM Builds. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I spent $2,000 on this maple cutting board and how you can do it for a fraction of the cost. Let's get into it. recently asked me to build her a cutting board. So I did what every good woodworker does. I go out, I spent $2,000 to go make a $100 or less cutting board. And I got these drills, those were on sale. I don't know which one to start with. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hey, guess we'll start with that. There she is, what I've been waiting for, the 10 inch Wahuda, Wanda, Wahuda, Wahuda, tools joiner. Oliver with the bird she looks head. That's no good, friends. Let's take it outside. We're going to cut it up a little bit, then we're going to get the new tools out. Actually, rather than going outside, I got it. Worked out pretty good. Now, all that we have to do is run them through the jointer, then we're gonna run them through the planer, and I got my boards marked out so I have a little bit of an idea so I don't get them confused. And also, if you think I can run them through down here, not happen, because that four inch outlet right there is going to spew dust everywhere. So, we're gonna pack everything up, and we're gonna go up those five steps, we're gonna go out in the garage and then we're gonna set them up out there. We're just right around the five eighths. We're gonna start the glue up, but I'm gonna bring you guys in. I'm gonna show you a few little, um, few little marks that the planer made. No big deal, but I think I could have prevented that a little bit. So you can see right there, we have a little bit of chip out, but I think that one's because of the knot. Um, and then right there, we had a little bit as well. And right here on the end, but that's why you have your pieces oversized a little bit. We can trim those up with a saw and it'll be all good. protection down on the table on the clamps we're going to put a little type on three on there that is food safe and remember the v that we made on the two boards that is properly set up i'm also going to use a few of these two clamps right here on the side just to keep everything level i don't think i'll need them and then i'll probably throw on one more clamp in the middle cutting board a little excessive but that's okay it's the only one I got please keep watching some videos maybe we can get some more we did it we got it perfectly flat I'm pretty excited about that 
I've successfully created a beginner woodworker project, a cutting board. It only cost me a couple thousand. Let's go. for the cutting board. I'm also gonna soften these corners with a curve, but I don't have a curve cutting jig, so I'm just gonna make one quick. Use a little tape, scrap piece of wood, cut it up, put some sides on it. I think it'll work. inch juice groove with the router so I've decided that I want it to be three quarters of an inch in and I know that this is half an inch so I have this already set an inch and a quarter so I can put that right here and then I know that I will trench out that center section right there and to find where I need to run my router I could put that on there I know that this is at two and five eighths so I need to make my template to go in the center two and five eighths from this line. finish sanding done I'm gonna put a coat of cutting board oil I'm gonna start on the bottom flip it over I'll put it on the top rub it in and then I'm gonna put it on these little little tents here so it stays up off the off the surface and then I will come back in about 15 minutes and wipe it down should probably take the take the lid off is how this cutting board cost me $2,000. We got the 10 inch Wahoota joiner for roughly $750 and the 12 and a half inch Oliver planer with the Bird Helix head. Is that good? I don't know, they tell me it is. I think it is for roughly $1,000. Both of those are the compact models, the movable, that you can move them around. Um, they're not as good as the floor standing models. I definitely know that and I've seen that as I was using them for a little bit. But just if you have a small shop for, or for at home, if you're just a hobbyist like I am myself, I think those are gonna work very good and you'll be pretty happy with them. Hey friends, I appreciate you watching me build the cutting board through all my trials and errors, mostly errors. I hope you learned something or at least you were entertained. But until the next time, get out there, buy cool tools, build cool stuff, and tell your friends about it. See ya. Just one at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yes, love?